Sam Mannering is the owner and executive chef of Auckland's award-winning eatery Homestead at Pa Homestead. He's the weekly food columnist in the Sunday Star Times and author of three best-selling cookbooks with his fourth due out this year. Kia ora Sam, no mai hoki mai. Kia ora. Good to see you Good again. Good to be back. No kute Maria. I'm so lucky to have you back because I know how you roll. Kaore, kore, ka tino, hunene te kai, lots of luscious kai coming out, but very doable, you promise. Oh yeah, always. So what do we call this deliciousness that we're making today? <laughs> so it's a courgette, mint and goat's cheese burek. Burek? Yep, burek. It's kind of like a spanakopita. Is it from Turkey or...? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Break. Yeah. What I quite like about this is that you can basically use whatever you have in season. So at the moment, you know, we've got beautiful courgettes, which are, you know, they're, they're just all over the place at the moment. So I thought, well, we'll mix it up with some courgettes, some red onion, some garlic, and then some mint to really bring out that freshness. Some lovely goat's cheese, some parmesan, a wee bit of lemon and some pine nuts. And what about our meat there today? And then some prosciutto. That'll give it this lovely kind of saltiness underneath. Katahika tsunahiti at the katoa, and then we wrap it all up in yeah. a big. We wrap it all up in phyllo, and then we coil it round. It's like a great big snail, and then we bake it off, and it's actually really easy. Now, Rekha Timataki here, where do we start with this right. delicious dish? Well, so we've got the phyllo just sitting there, so I've gotten oh. it out of the packet, just put it in between two wet tea towels, mm -hmm. and this will stop it from drying out. This is where, this is where people get a bit stressed out. Mm. Start with the filling, a bit of garlic, a bit of red onion. Kapai, kai daro yaku, that's just under here. Absolutely. How's this um, one? Here, oh no. Here oh, you got it? Right okay, now. that one. Yep. Two potos. You want a job, don't you? Yes. You yes, do. I do. Okay. Look at me, I'm ready. Well, I reckon you could um, grate some courgettes. All right. How about that? Okay. So, what we want to do, because courgettes have a lot of, of water in them, they're a mm. bit like cucumbers, we want to grate them up and then get them into a colander and squeeze that excess moisture out of them. Cut back. Hey, mama noi ho. So these are in season, but yeah. if they weren't, how high at the Hiatuko fitting? What are some other choices we could put in here? Well, I, I, I love silver beef. You know, my grandmother used to grow like paddocks of it, it felt like, as a child. Um, and so I've always I've always been really fond of it. And I think if you yeah, if you just chop it up, saute it off with a bit of garlic, a bit of lemon, and then, you know, add the usual suspects. So a bit of goat's cheese or feta or something like that. Or, or, or even, you know, like edam or tasty or something like that. Because goat's cheese, it's not for everyone because it's quite strong. You'd do the same thing though, because silver beets also a little, can get a little bit squishy. So you'd still yeah. do this whole process? You, you, you don't have to as much. Say with, with spinach, you do. Yeah. Absolutely, you know, there's heaps of wood. But, um, but silver beet um, has, has a much lower water content. But still, it's good to cook things like that down a little bit, you know, right. just to just just to let all that water kind of, you know, evaporate, I suppose. It's nothing worse than when you go, wow, I've made this beautiful dish and then I've got squishy courgettes or yeah. squishy spinach. You get it in the oven and it turns into something completely different. Shall I show you a wee trick? Yeah, show me a trick. Ah, mama noiho. Kote. You don't know, so you squeeze wee it in there. Oh, and then you squeeze it like that. Oh, look at all you that. See? It's a green smoothie. Well, to be honest, you've got stronger hands too. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Obviously, I'm just a tiny bit out. So, in the end, we have less squishy raw raw. Yeah, perfect. If we fold the goat's cheese into the courgette. So we don't want it to get too mushed. In. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And you just, you just add as much parmesan as you like, really. And a wee bit of mint as well. I'm such a fan of mint. And look at this stuff, it comes from the garden. It's like, look at the size of it, it's like spinach. But having that little pop of mint really sort of, I guess, cuts through all these different flavors, yeah, isn't it? and it really freshens it. And, and you see in, well, I mean, especially places like Turkey, um, Israel, all through the Eastern Mediterranean, they, they use mint like, like we would lettuce. You know, you just have, well, herbs really in general so you've got mint and flat leaf parsley and even coriander the, the, the further east you go it's not about adding you know a, just a just a couple of leaves you add handfuls of the stuff yeah. because it's so delicious ah hey hua hua and it's actually quite good for you isn't it oh totally 
Ritenga Aniana, Mete Kariki. So we've got the garlic and the onion smelling amazing over there. Yeah, so it's basically, we just cook it down until it's soft and translucent. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to add it a little bit of this beautiful rosemary. Mm. So just a few of these leaves and you can just pull them off the stem. Fresh rosemary is so delicious. And then we're adding the pine nuts as well. And you want to be reasonably generous with them. You're just gently toasting them. The last thing you want is to burn them. Filo pastry comes in sheets like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to join them up together. So we're going to have a big production line. And we've got our butter, our melted butter. And we want to be really generous with this. <laughs> so we'll just do a wee bit there just so we can sandwich the two together. And we just and we work sheet by sheet. Right. And, it, and it sounds a little bit laborious. It's all worth it, and you don't need to be too precise. But yeah, so you see, we've got a length about that, you know, so it's twice. A, and then we just want to do lengths. Paint the hair with the butter, so I'm painting it with butter. The best type of painting. Yes. <laughs> and we work sheet by sheet, right. and we just go. Layer. Maka kwe afina, mahitahi, we do a bit of a team effort over here. Katsukuna tene kite umun, eh? So, do we need to turn our oven on? Are we going to bake it in there? Yes, we do. Yes, you didn't That's forget. That's a good point. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> How, the right. how, how hot do you need it? I'm sure yeah, you can so sort it out. So, preheat and we'll get it up to about 180. Come yeah, on. so it's quite a gentle bake. Okay. We've got our pine nut, red onion, rosemary mixture, which is cooled down, and we'll add this to our um, courgette and goat's cheese and parmesan. A wee bit of lemon, just to cut through. Mm. I can't think of any dish that where I don't add lemon. I just love them. And say the juice of maybe half. We'll crack in, say, two eggs. Right. Imagine that. Pretty much anything, it's just such a good mixture, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah, you just want to fold it through. Again, you don't want to mush it right up so it's all the same consistency. So a wee bit of pepper, a wee bit of salt, you know, the usual suspects. Right. So we're just going to add a layer of prosciutto all the way down the middle. Right. Oh, a layer of goodness. Oh, kia ora. Look at that. Look at that. How about teamwork? And then we've got this lovely mixture. Right. And we're just going to spread it over the top. So we'll just do... So you just spread it out. Yeah, and the is sitting there nice and flat. And then from here, we just roll the whole thing up. So it's like a big roll of sushi. <laughs> and then we start to go like this. May oh. have pickle pickle. So there you got your little pickle pickle going on there. Yep. That is so cool. Patano, and then make everything good with the glaze. Oh, yeah. Engari Atahutoni, you can see that it's beautiful and it looks like you put some effort in, but it's actually really doable. It's so easy. Right. It's so easy. So we'll just put that in the oven and that'll be about 35 minutes. Te ahuane, i haere koe ki te mara. It looks like you went out into the garden, oh, yeah. do a bit of foraging, no, did no, you? I've been doing a bit of, it's fashionable at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> yes. hey? We've got kale, we've got cavolo nero, we've got some baby silver beet, and lots of flat leaf parsley and some more of that beautiful mint, you know. So this is like a nice little side dish for our yeah, beautiful... Yeah, totally, because you don't really need that much on yeah. the side of it, you know, you just want a bit of, just a bit of fresh leaf, you know. Kapai. Oh, karawe. Oh, taiho ake, I just wanted to have a little talk about your book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, ranga tira hoki o te whakaaro. It's such a beautiful idea. So, Everyday Strength, this is your book about recipes and wellbeing tips for people, kwa pāngia ki te mate puku puku, who are surviving through cancer, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a bit of a change from what I usually do. Aye. And um, it was something I was a little bit nervous about taking on because I thought, oh my God, you know, it's quite a heavy Aye. topic. But, Aye. you know, it doesn't matter what stage in life you're at or what you're going through, you know, we all have to eat and we, I think we should all seek pleasure in food, you know. Roast pork leg stuff with courgette and garlic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, kai te how's it yeah. going over there? We're nearly ready. Wow! Yeah, so you see how it's all brown and it's kind of starting to open out, the cheese is sort of flowing out. I love that. Ha awatihi, huh? it's, it's a river of cheese and there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Kwa pai, ki is that? I think that's just about ready. You nice. know what? Let's call that done. 
I'm hungry. Let's do it. That just looks amazing. Not bad, uh. You're the man. <laughs> I mean, you just sit there and look at it all day. <laughs> it's amazing how you get all the different layers. You know, you can see the prosciutto all the way through and, yeah. Peha, mm. how is it? Not bad. It's flaky. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. So you've got the goat's cheese, you've got the prosciutto, and of course the lemon going through it as well. The lemon, the lemon is actually amazing. It's what makes it sort of, I guess, not too rich. Makes it ping. Keeps oh. it nice and fresh, huh? The thing about it is that it's, it's just as delicious as it looks, but it's really impressive. It was actually quite easy to make. Pretty easy, huh? Thank you, Sam. Ngamahi nui ki Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Great to be here. See you next time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Matewa. <laughs>